Hi everybody, welcome back. So today we get to start something super exciting. I have been wanting to do this for so long. Um, we bought a doll's house for my daughter when she was a little bit younger and the idea was because she likes art that she would paint it and basically do it up herself. That obviously didn't happen so we still have a big wooden doll's house um, and it needs a lot of love. So now my youngest likes it and she enjoys playing with it so I wanted to do what I've wanted to do from the beginning and actually start kitting out the doll's house. Um, this is a series that I wanted to do for, for quite a while so every month I'm going to do a different video on different things for the doll's house and you're going to be able to follow me on my journey of hopefully giving the doll's house some new life. So I wanted to start off small um, and do something simple today. I have obviously been searching Pinterest and having a look at ideas, trying to see what I can do. And I decided for my first project, I really wanted to do these little, um, like, uh, what do you call them? Like uh, document boxes. I just think they're super cute. Um, obviously, I saw the picture in like a Barbie's office with documents in it so it just looks super super cute so for today's project we're going to be using base wood and our strong grip mat and we're going to be using our knife blade I also want to use some of the Cricut removable vinyl it is I think called party time I'll have a look for it now um, and then I will show you that um, we're going to be doing a bunch of things so I just wanted to show you so I did buy this in anticipation of doing the doll's house and this is obviously to do like pillowcases and bedding and curtains and all sorts of fun things. So there's a lot planned. Um, most of the projects will be done on the Maker but there will be some that can be done on the Explore or even the Joy. So I would love it if you would join me on this journey. So let's jump into today's project. Um, I'm going to run you through... The design which is super super simple and then we're going to get to cutting this for today's design we're doing something very simple so this is a downloaded svg i will link the website in the comments if you'd like to download it so what we're going to do is we're going to click on upload and we're going to browse so here it is box and we're going to import the svg so as you can see, it is super, super simple. We're going to upload that. And we're going to add that to our canvas. So I want to make two versions of this box. Um, first of all, I do want both sides to have a handle. So I am going to delete this one and I'm going to duplicate this one. So that both sides of my box will have a handle. Okay, so that's going to be my first box. And the second one, oopsie, let's undo that. So we're going to select all of them, duplicate, and while it's still together, I'm going to move it. So for the next one... What I want to do is I actually want to make my box longer. So I don't want to change the top two. So I'm going to ungroup this. I don't want to change the ones with the handles because that will be the sides of the box. I want to change these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock it. And I'm going to increase my height so that I get a longer box. So there I have my two boxes. What I then want to do for this box, I want to duplicate this. 
and I want to duplicate this, which will be the sides. And I want to add um, an offset. So I'm going to do a negative offset. That's going to give me a piece on the inside. So let's say minus 0 0.1. And we're going to give that corners. I mean, we could leave it rounded. That will look quite nice. So let's do 0 0.2 and see where that leaves us. We're going to apply that. And we're going to do the same for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make one of these like a little toy box. And then the other one's going to be a little box that's going to go in the office or bedroom. Um, I'm not sure where yet. So we have these sorted. We can now go to make it. We're going to be doing it on the maker. And we're going to select for any material. And we're using base wood. So I'm going to realign all of these so that they run down. So remembering our base wood is only 15 centimeters wide. So you don't want to go further than 15 centimeters. And I think that will be good. Then obviously that's going to be our vinyl. So we will then say continue. And we're going to choose base wood. So this is going to be our knife blade. And we can get to making it. So we've done our design. And we are now ready to get cutting. So I have full sheets of base wood here. I don't need a full sheet right now because I do have an off cut. So you'll see the way that I set up the design, that's actually going to be perfect. So for this we're going to be using our strong grip mat. And we're going to apply our base wood. If your strong grip mat does not have a lot of life in it, then I would suggest taping it down. Mine is super sticky, like unreasonably sticky. Um, I have no clue why. So I'm just going to roll it that down. I've already got my knife blade uh, set up. I've already got my machine set up. So we are already on the way to a good project. It's important to remember that you need to move your little white rollers to the side whenever you're cutting base wood. So make sure to do that and let's just insert that. The recommended passes is I think about 16 passes. You're going to check it halfway. So you're going to let it cut and then you're obviously going to stop it halfway and you're going to check it. So let's let that cut and then we will come back and have a look at it. So I have stopped mine on 8 passes. And I think it's cut perfectly, so let's have a look. There are little corners, but we can fix that. How cute are these? I'm so excited. Oopsie. So what I'm going to do... Let's get my cutting mat and I'm just going to help the edges with my craft knife just so I don't damage it. And you'll actually see where the edges haven't cut nicely. Okay, so we've got all of our little pieces for our boxes. Now we're going to cut our 
removable vinyl. So we're going to swap out our mats and our blades. So we're going to switch over to our green mat and our fine point blade. So that's the blade that came with your machine. And this is the vinyl I was talking about. This is called, it is called Party Time Pastels. And this is a removable vinyl. So you can Mod Podge over it. Or if you want it to be something that you can change up, you can just leave it as is. And I really like this fun, sort of uh, colorful one. So for this, we only need a small piece, about five centimeters, by not even five centimeters. So we're just gonna cut that quickly. And we're gonna let that cut. Nice and simple. And I did check, so remember, always check to see that your material is cut before you unload it. I did check mine. Um, I just want to weed it away quickly. So that's all done. And there's our little pieces for the side of our box. So I'm not sure if you watched my previous video, I did some reviews on some different glues, so I want to try these two glues today. I don't know if they're going to hold wood, um, but after using them for a little bit, I have obviously figured out how to work better with them. So I'm getting better at this. Um, I just want to tidy these edges up. Okay, now we just got to match them up, so the little ones, and then the big ones. So I'm assuming these are our sides, and this will be our bottom. Let's try it with this one first, because this seems a bit odd. It's not really... Oh, wait, I think it goes that way. So I did cut one of them wrong. Oh, no. I'm going to have to recut that. Yeah, so it goes like that. Or that. No, definitely like that. Okay, so let's try and glue this together. So we're using our precision tip. I'm not sure if this glue will work because it is a very thin glue. So I feel like it's just going to get absorbed by the wood. Mm. What were we doing? I don't know now. Have I done it right? I don't know if I have. Oh no. Oh no. I think I have. I don't know. So I don't think this glue is going to work. It seems to be working. But I don't know. My box doesn't look the way it did. It doesn't look the same. It doesn't look the same. This is so cute though.
Okay, what we're going to do, so base wood is super soft. I have um, explained that before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a piece to use to sort of smooth this out. Any glue that's come through, because obviously you don't want that. But this glue seems to be holding up. We obviously just need it to draw. Nope, I don't know if this glue is going to work. I do think I want to move over to the Pinel wood glue though. I think it's going to serve us better. I mean, this is working, it's just taking super long. Okay, so I'm going to get the Pinel wood glue. Okay, I only have a little bit of my Pinel wood glue left. So I can't even put this into a container. I hope it hasn't dried completely. Um, well, we have something. So now we get to try to glue this. Oopsie. This is so cute. That is the cutest little box I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my goodness, I need that to draw. I want to see. <laughs> I want to see if I can save this one. I don't think I can. Or maybe I can if I just cut it a bit shorter. So let's do that. We are not giving up. We are not giving up. Yes, I could just recut it, but that's wastage. Ha ha! We're going to save it. Close craft now. I am so in love with my little boxes. You love it. Is that the right? That's not the right one. Okay, I think we've saved it. I think we've saved it. Oh. Saved. Okay. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Oh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh my goodness. Oopsie. And there we have our cutest little boxes how cute are these oh my goodness this was such a simple project the only difficult part was that I obviously didn't make sure that I knew where everything was going 
this obviously still has to dry. I am putting quite a bit of pressure. So once it's dry, I can give it to my daughter and she can add it to the doll's house. I freaking love it. I think it's so cool. So what did we learn from this project? We learned that measuring is important or more important than measuring is actually knowing where the different parts of your cutout will go. That will help you to size it correctly. So I obviously didn't realize that these side pieces went up ways I thought that they went the opposite way so I resized them a little bit too long but we did get to fix it I just want to show these to my daughter Ra how cool are these little blocks it's little boxes for the doll's house so you can put stuff in it and there's a toy box for the little babies um this looks like a crib. It does look a bit like a crib, but it's too small for a crib. What would you fit in it? Um, you have the toys. You're going to put some toys for the Barbies in it? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's let it dry here, and you can come and take them just now, okay? Okay. Okay, I love you. Why, why don't I take them back? Because I just glued them. I just made them for you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to add these nice toys. You're going to add nice toys to it? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. So, thank you so much for joining me. That was loads of fun. I love how these turned out. And they were super, super simple. I really hope you'll make some. If you have any suggestions on things I could make to sort of jazz up the doll's house please leave a comment. Um, I do have curtains, pillows, outdoor furniture, um, all sorts planned. But I would love to hear suggestions. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again next month when we do something else for the Barbie's house. But don't forget, every week there is a new video up. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Thank you.